Please note that while these answers provide a general overview, some questions delve into complex scientific concepts that are still being explored and studied by researchers. Our understanding of the universe continues to evolve as new discoveries are made and theories are refined. Could there be an edge of the universe? The concept of an edge of the universe is still a subject of scientific investigation and debate. According to current cosmological models, the universe does not have a well-defined edge or boundary that can be reached or observed. Instead, the universe is thought to be either infinite or to have a shape that wraps back on itself, similar to the surface of a sphere. Our observable universe is limited by the distance light has had the opportunity to travel since the Big Bang, known as the observable horizon. If the universe is infinite, how can it be expanding? The expansion of the universe is not about the physical stretching or expansion of matter within the universe, but rather the expansion of space itself. Even in an infinite universe, the metric of space can change over time, causing distances between objects to increase. This expansion is described by the theory of general relativity and is supported by observations, such as the redshift of distant galaxies. It is important to note that the concept of an infinite universe does not contradict the idea of its expansion. What is the universe made of? The universe is made up of various components, including Ordinary matter, this is the matter we interact with every day, such as atoms, molecules, and the building blocks of stars, planets, and life. Dark matter, it is an invisible form of matter that does not interact with light but has a gravitational influence on visible matter. Its exact nature is still unknown. Dark energy, this is a mysterious form of energy that is thought to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. Its precise nature is yet to be understood. The exact proportions of these components are currently the subject of ongoing scientific research. Do parallel universes exist? The existence of parallel universes, also known as a multiverse, is a topic of theoretical speculation in physics. Some theoretical models, such as certain interpretations of quantum mechanics and cosmological theories, propose the possibility of multiple universes with different physical laws or initial conditions. However, direct observational evidence for parallel universes remains elusive, and it is an active area of research and debate among scientists. Does space have color? Space itself is mostly perceived as black because it is a vacuum with no atmosphere to scatter or reflect light. When we look at the night sky, we see darkness with scattered points of light from stars and other celestial objects. However, space can exhibit colors in various astronomical images captured by telescopes or spacecraft. These images may reveal vibrant colors emitted by celestial objects, such as nebulae, galaxies, and planets. What is space made of? Space is primarily composed of empty space, meaning it contains very low densities of matter. However, it is not completely devoid of matter. It contains a sparse distribution of gas particles, dust, and electromagnetic radiation. These particles and photons make up what is known as the interstellar medium. Additionally, space is permeated by cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles originating from various sources in the universe. Why is space black? Space appears black because of the absence of significant light sources and the lack of an atmosphere to scatter sunlight. In the absence of scattering, when we observe space from within our atmosphere, the unilluminated regions appear black. However, as mentioned earlier, space can exhibit colors when captured through specialized astronomical observations. What are three dangers of living in space? Living in space presents several challenges and dangers for astronauts. Microgravity effects. Prolonged exposure to microgravity can cause muscle and bone loss, cardiovascular changes, and weakened immune system, requiring specific exercise regimens and countermeasures. Radiation exposure. Space is filled with various forms of radiation, including solar flares and cosmic rays, which can damage cells and increase the risk of cancer and other health problems. Psychological effects. Isolation confinement, and the psychological demands of living in a small spacecraft for extended periods can lead to mood alterations, sleep disturbances, and psychological stress. What food isn't allowed in space? 
certain types of food are not suitable for consumption in space due to the specific requirements and limitations of the space environment. Foods that generate crumbs, have strong odors, require refrigeration, or have a short shelf life are generally avoided. Additionally, perishable items like fresh fruits and vegetables are not commonly available on long-duration space missions. However, space agencies have developed specialized food systems to provide balanced nutrition and ensure safety and stability for astronauts. Does time pass faster in space? Due to the effects of general relativity, time can appear to pass differently in different gravitational environments. In space, where gravitational forces are weaker, time runs slightly faster compared to clocks on Earth. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been observed in experiments and has practical implications for satellite-based systems, such as GPS, which need to account for this difference in order to provide accurate measurements. How cold is space? The temperature in space can vary depending on the location and proximity to a heat source like a star. In general, space is extremely cold. In the vast expanse of interstellar space, temperatures can reach close to absolute zero, which is around minus 273 degrees Celsius, minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit. However, near stars or in regions closer to galaxies, temperatures can be much higher due to the presence of energy-emitting objects. Which is the coldest planet? The coldest planet in our solar system is Uranus. It is an ice giant located far from the Sun, and its average temperature is around minus 224 degrees Celsius, minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus has a predominantly hydrogen and helium atmosphere, along with traces of methane, which contributes to its frigid temperatures. Which is the hottest planet? The hottest planet in our solar system is Venus. While Mercury is closer to the Sun, Venus experiences higher temperatures due to its thick atmosphere and greenhouse effect. The average surface temperature on Venus is a scorching 462 degrees Celsius, 864 degrees Fahrenheit, making it hotter than Mercury, despite being farther from the Sun. Why is Mars red? Mars appears red because of its iron-rich surface and the presence of iron oxide, commonly known as rust. The Martian soil and rocks contain iron minerals that have undergone oxidation, giving the planet its reddish hue. The thin atmosphere on Mars allows sunlight to pass through, but it scatters shorter wavelength blue light, making the planet appear redder from a distance. Who made space? Space, in the context of the universe, was not made by any individual or entity. It is a natural and vast expanse that has existed since the beginning of the universe. The origin of space itself is tied to the Big Bang a cosmological event that marked the beginning of our universe approximately 13.8 billion years ago. What are powerful things in space? Space is home to numerous powerful phenomena and objects. Some of the most powerful things in space include Black holes, regions of spacetime with extremely strong gravitational forces that can pull and even light. Supernovae, explosions of massive stars that release enormous amounts of energy and can outshine entire galaxies. Gamma ray bursts, intense bursts of gamma ray radiation associated with the most energetic events in the universe. Quasars, extremely bright and distant objects powered by supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. What are three benefits of space? The exploration and study of space offer several benefits for humanity. Technological advancements, space exploration drives innovation and leads to the development of new technologies that find applications in various industries on Earth. Scientific discoveries, space missions provide insights into the origins of the universe, the formation of celestial bodies, and the search for life beyond Earth. Earth observation, satellites in space enable monitoring of weather patterns, natural disasters, climate change, and environmental factors critical for our planet's sustainability. How many planets are there in the solar system? In our solar system, there are eight planets. In order of their distance from the Sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are diverse in terms of their size, composition, and characteristics. Which planet is the closest to the Sun? 
the planet closest to the Sun is Mercury. It orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 36 million miles, 58 million kilometers. Due to its proximity to the Sun, Mercury experiences extreme temperatures, ranging from scorching hot during the day to freezing cold at night. Is the universe infinite? The question of whether the universe is infinite or finite is still a topic of scientific investigation. While the exact size and shape of the universe are not yet fully known, current observations suggest that the universe is vast but not infinite. It is expanding, and the rate of its expansion is accelerating. Why is it called the solar system? The term solar system is derived from the Latin word solaris, which means of the sun. The solar system is named so because it consists of the sun at its center, along with all the celestial bodies that orbit around it, including planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and other objects. How did the solar system originate? The origin of the solar system can be traced back approximately 4.6 billion years ago. It is believed that the solar system formed from a giant rotating cloud of gas and dust called the solar nebula. This nebula began to collapse under its own gravity, and as it did, it started to spin faster, forming a rotating disk. The central region of this disk eventually became the Sun, while the material in the outer disk came together to form the planets, moons, and other objects in our solar system. Why is space silent? Space is often described as silent because it is a vacuum, meaning it is almost entirely devoid of matter, including air or other particles. Sound waves require a medium, such as air or water, to propagate and reach our ears. In the absence of a medium, like in space, sound cannot travel, and therefore, we perceive it as silence. What cannot be done in space? While space exploration has made significant advancements, there are certain limitations and challenges associated with living and working in space. Some activities that are difficult or not feasible in space include Traditional cooking with open flames or stoves due to fire hazards in a microgravity environment. Activities requiring large amounts of water or extensive plumbing systems, as water is a limited resource on spacecraft. Taking a leisurely walk outside without proper spacesuits to protect against vacuum, extreme temperatures, and radiation. Are you passionate about space videos? Do you want to learn more and stay up to date with the latest trends and insights in this field? Then you should definitely subscribe to my channel and support me.